Our team keep it clean um there's a lot of ravens updates that we gotta get caught up on and we are far behind updates on jadavian Clowney, kyle vanoy zay flowers william jackson i mean most importantly we got a game coming on tonight we got the we get to see the ravens play football tonight after who the last time we saw them play was sean hubbard taking that uh that fumble uh all the way back for a touchdown in the playoff game and even though this won't be a regular season game, it'll be nice to see our boys suiting up. But somebody who suited up for almost a funeral was Odell Beckham Jr. and Tyler Boyd. Um, and it, this was bad. This, this was bad. And, and I really feel like Odell Beckham Jr., he just ripped Tyler Boyd with this one. But I, I, just, I just feel like Tyler Boyd, he set himself up for failure just in a major way, in my opinion. And... This was one of those things, you know how the, the, the saying where people say pick your battles? I don't think Tyler Boyd chose the right battle for this one. But anyway, let's get into it. Y'all know Odell Beckham Jr., you know his story. Drafted by the Giants, uh, was off to one of the best starts by a wide receiver ever. Even off to a better start than some numbers-wise than Randy Moss. But anyway, uh, Odell Beckham Jr. was doing his thing. And he had established himself as one of the better wide receivers in the league. Uh, had an instant just popularity. It just boomed like that. And he became an overnight celebrity. Uh, but he was consistent uh, with his play. He had the play to back it up. It wasn't just the one-hand catch. I mean, that was big, and shout-out to Brandon Carr. But it went beyond just that one-hand catch. Um, but then with the Giants, he signed uh, the biggest deal in NFL history for a wide receiver, then got traded to, uh, a year later to the Browns. I uh, went to the Browns, uh, put up some decent numbers, but... It just really didn't work out there. Then his dad put out the uh, highlight video of Baker Mayfield missing Odell Beckham Jr. a lot. Uh, then the Browns end up cutting him. Then he signed on with the Rams, and he helped them uh, along the way to get to the Super Bowl. And in the Super Bowl, he helped them a lot. Uh, and he wasn't just somebody that was along for the ride. He was a big part of everything that they were doing and their success uh, on the way to and in that Super Bowl. So now... Now that we caught up on the Super Bowl, um, in the Super Bowl, he was going off. He was doing his thing. Odell Beckham Jr. was going off in the first half of that game. But during, uh, while he was going off, he went down. He went down with injury. And then I remember during that game, watching that Super Bowl, I was thinking, okay, he went down with injury. He going to come back. He'll be back. He'll, he'll suit up in the second half, and he'll end up being like a hero or something like that. But Odell Beckham Jr. will be back. He's one of the big stars of the game. NFL ain't going to let him be out. But nope. He was done. He was done. And... We did not know back then that that would be his last game uh, that he would play uh, for over a year. But he was out. But um, Odell Beckham Jr. via NBC Sports, he talked about that game. And see, the thing with what he, what he said, well, let's just read his quote first. He said, uh, people have no idea what I was actually going to do that day. It was going to be the day where I catch 15 balls, maybe 250 yards. We would have beat the Bengals 42-17. So Odell Beckham Jr. saying they would have whooped the Bengals. Had he not went out? Nah, then the Bengals wouldn't have stood a chance. Um, and, I mean, he got a right to say what he said because he was going off. They were going off. And then, I mean, you still got Cooper Cup that the Bengals had to deal with. And, they, I mean, they he's still a baller, too. Uh, and that Rams offense was just – they didn't go off like they normally be going off during the regular season and whatnot. But that's a lot to deal with, man. They had a lot of nice, talented players on that offense. But – um. With Odell Beckham Jr., this is something that he's consistently said in so many different ways. I remember his first two presses uh, with the Baltimore Ravens after they signed him. He talked about that. He talked about how like it was just a bittersweet thing for him because it was bitter because he didn't get to play out there. He didn't get to finish playing out there, excuse me. Uh, but it was sweet because the Rams, they still ended up winning. But it's like he didn't get to be a full part of that. Because obviously you, I mean, you're watching your team win. You want your team to win. But if you were part of it and then it got taken away from you, that would be tough. Uh, but in the Ravens presses, he talked about how his mom, before the game, he, she said that she never saw him like that before. Uh, and he said he told her, like, hey, I'm going to be the best player out there on the field today. And it was looking like he was well on his way to that. Uh, but then the injury took everything away. But the one thing that it didn't take away was the Super Bowl. But Tyler Boyd, Bengals wide receiver Tyler Boyd, uh, he decided to chime in. And 
in response to that quote from Odell Beckham Jr. about um, people having no idea what he was actually going to do that day, it was going to be the day where I catch 15 balls, maybe 250 yards. We would have beat the Bengals 42-17. Tyler Boyd responded to that, and he said, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Oh, Tyler, man, Tyler. I, uh, I felt for him, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, no, he set himself up for this. He really did. Because, like, I, and I get it. You're speaking up for the Bengals. Like, hey, no, nah, he, he probably feel like, no, they wouldn't have whooped us like that. Uh, but at the same time, despite what happened, because, hey, Odell Beckham Jr., he did not get 15 catches for 250 yards. That's something that did not happen. But Tyler Boyd responding like that, he's responding like the Bengals won the game. Because that, that would be one thing. Like, if Odell Beckham Jr. said all of this, if he said all that and the Rams lost, hey, Tyler Boyd, speak on it. Do, do your thing. I get it. But they didn't. And that's why I feel like this was not the right battle for him to pick. He set himself up for failure in such a major way. Like, why, why even say anything at all? And I, I, I bet he was probably on Twitter and just reading a comment like, mm, should I say it? Should I not say it? Should I say it? Should I not say it? Should I say it? Should I not say it? Say it? You know what? I'm going to go ahead and press tweet. Boom. And he did it. And I just, it, it wasn't a smart decision, in my opinion. Because let, let, let's read Odell Beckham Jr. his response to what Tyler Boyd said. Because Odell Beckham Jr., he was on Instagram and whatnot, just scrolling. And maybe he came across this, uh, this sports center post that showed his quote. Then it showed Tyler Boyd's response. And he was like, you know what? Let me chime in. On what Tyler Boyd said about me So Odell Beckham Jr. said this He did a bunch of laughing emojis <laughs> And he said I feel that For real for real But he goes the butt and it's a big butt But I do have the ring You coulda woulda shoulda had And that's a fact Brody Tyler Boyd you set yourself up For that one You really did So again I, I just it was pointless for Tyler Boyd to chime in on that, in my opinion. And, and it's like, why even say anything at all? Like, the, you cannot take, you can't change the outcome of the game. It's done. It wasn't a preseason game. Shout out to the preseason tonight, by the way. It wasn't even a regular season game. It was the Super Bowl, and the Bengals ended up losing. And, and that, that's what makes it worse. Odell Beckham Jr., one of the Rams' star players, he went out with injury and didn't come back. And the Bengals still lost. They still lost. Now again, Rams had some nice players. The Bengals had some nice players, too. Because their receiver unit, like, yeah, one of the best in the league, obviously. Because you got two number one receivers. And then you got a, a number two as your third guy. Ooh, man. And them boys, they give trouble. But anyway, um, this was just... This wasn't the battle, the right battle to pick, in my opinion. I, I just I think Tyler Boyd messed up with this one. He, he, he really did. And I like, it's like I, I, I wanted to feel bad for him at first. But then I'm like, no, nah, you, you, you really set yourself up. You really did. Because, again, y'all lost. You lost the game. Like he, he, Tyler Boyd was with, with the whole what, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Somebody usually says that. If they won Like if you playing Mario Kart for something You playing Mario Kart With your friends, family, whoever And You in first place You in first place and then Somebody at the la in the third lap of the race You know when the, the Mario Kart Does that sound that dun, 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 when, they, when they do that final, uh, final lap sound That comes on You in first place, you cruising You're like oh I got it then somebody send one of them blue shells your way. The blue shells that circle over you, and then boom, they blow up your car. Well, unless you got that, that red horn thing, then that'll blow up that blue shell. But if you don't have it, that blue shell circles around your car, and it blows it up, and it stops you. You lose your coins. You get stopped. And then somebody else, whew, they take first place from you. And they end up winning the race. And you're like, man, if you wouldn't have, if, they, if no, somebody wouldn't have used that blue shell on me, then I would have got first place. Now, that's something that the person who actually got first place, took it, who took it from you, that's something that they can be like, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Why? 
Because you were once in the lead, you were once winning, but they took it from you. They took the win from you. They took advantage of whatever the situation was and they took it from you. They can say coulda, woulda, shoulda because they won. But since you lost the whole, you can't say coulda, woulda, shoulda and you lost. No, that, that does not work like that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda is only for the people that won. Tyler Boyd, you did not win.